Please visit. the 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 cavalry also escorting him so they are all just preparing to take their position and then the official procession will take place that in your shorts are the four bearers the bearer party they actually carry the corpse or uh, the casket yes so that's a bearer party and it consists of an officer a warrant officer or an nco and normally eight bearers and the rank depends on the person that is being laid in state and being a high profile uh, personality we have only warrant officers class one and class two to carry our ex-president so they are all just shaking up, and then we can officially start the procession. And you realize that the casket is draped in the Ghana flag. That tells you that it's a national burial. If we we could recall during the burial of uh, His Excellency Kofi Annan, when the casket was brought down, it was in the UN colors. And then the UN colors were removed and draped with the Ghana colors. So that is why the casket is also draped in our, uh, our, our flag, red, gold, green. And now we have the, the poor bearers. They will escort the body as it moves. In some jurisdiction, the poor bearers carry the casket. So the poor bearers can play dual role. They can help in carrying the, the casket or escort it. In the Ghana Armed Forces, the poor bearers will escort it, whilst the bearer party carry the casket, as we are seeing now.
then you have some pers uh, personalities presenting arms. It's a form of compliment or greeting. In the military, we use the term compliment. So they are paying compliments to our former commander-in-chief, even as the casket is moved to be placed on the gun carriage. Everything has been rehearsed, and so every group in the procession know what they are supposed to do. So these have been rehearsed. It's a very solemn occasion, it's full of significance and pageantry. These are some of the unique situations around institutions. If you see situations like this, and you see how orderly it is moved, look at how the casket was lifted, and then look at how the 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 they even lifted their hands. Their hands. Mm -hmm. Everything has an indication that this is an organized. This is an organized uh, group. And it is so beautiful to, be, to and, see them. And then they all took off their head, their headgear, as a mark of respect right. for what is happening now. Mm -hmm. I see that his hat and his sword are still on the on the casket. Exactly. At some point in time, they will be removed, right? Yes, eventually they will be at the cemetery. Okay. So even the wearing of the headgear, even the removal of the headgear, everything is rehearsed so it's so orderly. Mm. So that it looks very solemn and then professional. So Kafu, this is about the end, indeed, of former president Jennifer Rollins has 73 years of okay. death. This is the beginning of the closure of the cemetery years. Because after a few hours, when the casket is put in the belly of the earth, it means that he has finished his 73 years. And now the journey is up to this, appear to this moment. Then we have the firing party. They are also taking their position. At the cemetery, they will be, they'll be firing the volleys, the three volleys. So they are taking their position. And if, you see that they have reversed the weapon. Normally, we carry the weapon properly to fight. But we are mourning. So the weapon has been reversed. A sign of n no time for us to fight. For now, we are doing, we are giving every respect and every, um, yes, every respect to our former president. This is the police force. They are also adding uh, some uh, gymnastics to the whole program to make it very um, solemn and then entertaining, I and guess. entertaining yeah. at the same time. Even though it's not an entertaining occasion, yeah. so they just added something to what color, color to the whole program. Yeah. I saw a horse that had no rider. Exactly. On it, and I'm sure at the right time, we'll you tell me exactly what it yes, means. Yes, you will yes. do that. And that is a riderless horse, a road, a horse without a rider. You know, our former president loved horse riding, so today we needed to get that horse as part of the procession mm. for to tell the whole world that this is a, a, something, a passion for our president that we have not forgotten, that we wish to acknowledge it today. So like you said at the right time, I'll give uh, further details on that. So it means, that, it means that now there's, they have started the journey from here to the cemetery. Exactly. Uh, that's the horse. That's the riderless horse. Then. Yes. Yeah. That's a riderless horse. Okay, let me say something a little about it. 
The riding boots have been turned to face backwards. A rider wears a boot and face forward. But, okay, let me let now. I would like to go through the order of procession once again. We'll have the escort, we'll have the firing party, the band and the drum, with the body on the carri uh, gun carriage, with the pallbearers escorting it, and then we'll have the insignia bearers, we'll have chief mourners, we'll have the president's special representative, then we have mourners in uniform in order of seniority, then mourners not in uniform, then the rest, and then we have the rear detachment, as well as the motor cars. This is to ensure that every mourner knows where he or she must stand in the procession, to make sure that everything is orderly. So we have the cavalry, and then we have the motorcade by the police, the gun carriage, with the sword yes. the sword has also been reversed normally a sword is drawn vertically but it has been reversed as part of uh, the mourning uh, process so they are the poor bearers they are also there to provide extra security as well as escort the casket to the cemetery and and because we are talking about the president and the commander-in-chief these are high-ranking officers of a kennel, minimum a kennel and above. Commander Ahe, can you give us a sense uh, of... Just a minute, wrong. These ones are brigadier generals. Okay. Very, very senior officers. So they're brigadier generals. Is that what you refer to as a, a one-star general? That's a one-star general and above. Okay. Because we are talking about the commander-in-chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Can you just give us a sense of the route that they'll take for this procession, which will finally end up at the military cemetery? Okay. For those yes. who are just joining us right now, the funeral service is over, and there's a procession out of the Black Star Square. Where will they be going? All right. Uh, listening to the commentary on the ground, there's a slight change, but the original plan that I have here is from the Independence Square through to Osu Castle Road, then the Ridge Runabout, Kojo Thompson Road, to Circle, Nima Police Station, then to Gifford Road, through 37, to Bema Camp Road, Mahama Road, and then we'll branch off to the cemetery. So those are the major streets that the, the cortege will be uh, moving through before we get to the cemetery. And what is the significance of this procession through some streets of Accra. Thank you. You know that our president is a president of this nation. And it's impossible to have every Ghanaian come here. And so the procession is to allow for loved ones, one, to wave and to show their last respect. However, we also have what we call street lining. We'll have our personnel line the street that is going to be used to pay their last compliment to our commander-in-chief. Additionally, our former commander-in-chief also lived in some of these localities. So it's to afford the general public a viewing and also to say a farewell to all of us. It's obvious that a lot of thought has gone into today's 
um, ceremony. And it's, it's, it's rich with symbolism and significance. Exactly. Um, one thing with the military that every program that we undertake, we take time to plan the minutest details.